हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई से अकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड बाइनरी वेटेड डिजिटल टू एनालॉग कन्वर्टर ए डिजिटल टू एनालॉग कन्वर्टर विल कन्वर्ट द बाइनरी नंबर इनटू इक्विवेलेंट वोल्टेज और करंट व्हिच मींस द बाइनरी वैल्यूज आर कन्वर्टेड इनटू एनालॉग वैल्यूज यूजिंग डिजिटल टू एनालॉग कन्वर्टर फिगर शोस द बाइनरी वेटेड डिजिटल टू एनालॉग कन्वर्टर हियर वी आर कंसीडरिंग थ्री इनपुट्स which will be having the binary values these inputs can have either the value 1 or 0 so these three inputs are connected to inverting terminal of an op amp non inverting terminal is connected to ground from the output we are taking a feedback through a resistor r and for each input channel we are connecting the resistors so as you can see the first channel is having the resistor value as r second channel is having the resistor value as 2r third channel is having the resistor value as 4r and fourth channel is having the resistor value as 8r so we need to follow this procedure so if we have fifth input at that case we need to connect the resistor with the value 16r if we are having sixth input the resistor value should be connected as 32r so this procedure we need to follow the output of this digital to analog converter is nothing but minus of v3 plus 0.5 v2 plus 0.25 v1 plus 0.125 v0 so how this output is written here for each input the gain value is multiplied so to calculate the gain we'll use the general formula for inverting amplifier for an inverting amplifier generally we can write av is equal to minus rf divided by r1 so this is the general expression for an inverting amplifier so rf is the feedback resistor and r is the resistor that is connected along with the input for example if we want to calculate gain of this first channel which is v3 so it will be equal to r divided by r so that will be equal to 1 so we can write gain across the first channel v3 will be equal to minus feedback resistor value is r the resistor value in the channel is r so it will be equal to minus 1 so v3 into minus 1 so we'll get the value as minus v3 in the same way gain at input v2 we can write it as minus feedback resistor is r the resistor value in channel is 2r so it will be equal to minus 0.5 so that's why in the output equation we have written the value of v2 as minus 0.5 into v2 similarly we can write for a v1 that can be written as minus r divided by 4r so it will be equal to minus 0.25 also for av not we can write it as minus r divided by 8r so that will be equal to minus 0.125 so using these gain values we have written the output that will be equal to the weighted sum of input so weighted sum which means each input value is multiplied with its gain value that's why we will get this output equation so these input voltages are digital values are two states which means these input values can either be having the value 0 or 1 so since we are having four input values we can have 16 combinations of input so each input can have either 0 or 1 as input values now for example if the inputs are 0 0 0 and 0 so all the inputs are 0 at that case the output will be equal to 0 so output voltage will be equal to 0 
if the input is 0 0 0 and 1 since this 1 is at v naught the gain value of v naught is minus 0 0.125 minus 0 0.125 multiplied with this 1 it will be equal to minus 0 0.125 so output voltage will be minus 0 0.125 in the same way if the input is 0 0 1 0 so correspondingly 1 is across v1 so gain of v1 is minus 0 0.25 minus 0 0.25 multiplied with 1 so it will be equal to minus 0 0.25 so in the same way if the input is 0 0 1 1 so we are having one across v1 as well as v0 so these two gain values will be added so one into gain of v1 is minus 0 0.25 plus one into minus 0 0.125 so it will be equal to minus 0 0.375 so likewise we can calculate output voltage for different combinations of input so for the next value we will get minus 0 0.5 then it will be minus 0 0.625 then it will be minus 0 0.75 then minus 0 0.875 then minus 1 minus 1.125 minus 1.25 minus 1.375 minus 1.5 minus 1.625 minus 1.75 and for last combination we will get minus 1.875 figure b shows the output voltage of digital to analog converter so this output is not continuous values but it is looking like a staircase that's why we can say the output is not purely analog so for first combination of input for 0, 0, 0, 0, output is 0. For second input, output is minus 0 0.125. Third input, it is minus 0 0.25. Likewise, the output is looking like a staircase. Finally, we are having minus 1.875 for last combination of input. Since it is looking like a staircase, we can connect a low pass filter across the output so that we can smoothen this transition at the output so that the output waveform look like an analog signal since we are having four inputs so this digital to analog converter has 16 possible combinations of input so at the output we will be having 16 steps if we have eight inputs then the digital to analog converter will have 256 possible combinations of input then the output will have 256 steps if we have 16 inputs then the digital to analog converter will have 65536 possible combinations of input then we will be having 65536 steps at the output this binary weighted digital to analog converter can be used where the number of inputs are limited and where high precision is not required so this binary weighted digital to analog converter can be used only when the number of inputs are limited so as you can see here as the number of input increases the complexity at the output will also increase and also it can be used where high precision is not required this is about binary weighted digital to analog converter hope you have understood the topic thank you